Brianna, I just got these new earrings and I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to leave it at home because they're so expensive. I have a solution. Me and Liz just designed this product, which is an Arduino burglar alarm for a jewelry box. And if a burglar door opened the box, this loud and annoying alarm would go off and scare them away. Wow, that's a really good solution. That's that way I would know when the box is open because I would be able to hear the alarm. That's great. Right. <laughs> this is how it works. Originally, our plan was to get an Adafruit Wi-Fi shield and connect it to our Arduino board and have it send a tweet to us once the box is open. Unfortunately, the code we were using was not designed to function with the newest Twitter update. We connected to the network in our classroom and we even created a Twitter application that connected to our coding. The sketches worked until the very last step. The hardest part about the Adafruit Wi-Fi shield is that we had to solder each individual part. Because our original plan with the Adafruit Wi-Fi board shield did not work, we decided to just use the photocell and the buzzer so that when you open the box, the photocell detects light and the buzzer still sounds. These are the important parts. This one is a photo cell, which we used in lesson 10, and that measures the amount of light and it works as a resistor to let in less voltage and um, change the amount of voltage going through based on how much light it reads. Our project worked because of the important physics principles. This included sound and electric signals. Our speaker works because um, physics in the way that magnetism and electricity work together and also in electric circuits we saw that you need resistors in a ground so that the circuit doesn't short. The process included three main steps, coating, wiring, and soldering. We had to solder a lot of the pieces so that it was secure. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.